said near the beginning of your talk that human beings are different from animals and that they're not programmed. But aren't they programmed in a sense depending on which, which part of society they're born into or which, even which culture in the world they're born into? You said that people pick up the philosophy from the culture that they're in and they pick up the ideas in there. So aren't they programmed in a sense? No, I do not believe that people are programmed by the society or the culture or the subgroup in which they were born or brought up. A person can let himself be ruled by those influences, and most people choose to. And if you, if you do, if you just simply are the way most people are, for whatever reason, they just simply let it go, they accept whatever is around them, they don't think, they don't question, then you will grow up and be a clone of what's around you. And then for you'll find all the Catholics in one country, not because they independently arrived at Catholicism, but because everybody else was, so they are going to be too. And all the Jews in another, or, you know, all the Buddhists in another, etc. But you will notice that in every country, there are some individuals who have all the same influences on them as everybody else, but they reject them. They can't maybe, as children, reject them outright, but what they do is say, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. I don't see why. You, as long as you have that capacity, you're free. You won't know the answers automatically, but you're free to struggle, grow up, go to the, out to the wider world, find other ideas, read, think. That's the essence of free choice, to think or not, to exercise your mind, and free yourself from your environment or to say, it's too hard, who am I to know? And I give up. Now, when I say you absorb philosophy, you do, but it's not engraved on your soul. Till the day you turn 80, let's say, or 90, you can say, well, I accepted this all my life, but now I'm going to look at it and see if I think it makes sense. As long as human beings have this capacity, they're free. Now, look at Ayn Rand. She was brought up in Tsarist Russia. Uh, educated in communist Russia. Now, if ever anybody was going to grow up, you know, an authoritarian Russian mystic type, that would be her. And yet, from the word go, she was opposed to it. Uh, so, I think you do have free choice. It's just a question of whether you choose to use it or not. I don't believe we're programmed by environment or heredity, or God, or economic class, or Freudian id or any of that. 